you know, we'll call this part two. Uh, the person who, okay, so we're talking about the people who ask the questions mm -hmm. in a group setting, a group environment. Um, most of the time, yes, they're, they're guiding the narrative and they honestly want to know more. But sometimes you got those fuckheads, yeah. those little schneisters that just want to sit there and question every single thing and try to turn it on its head and spin it and make a negative connotation of something that you said, spin it around. Yeah, turn it upside down. Question your credibility. Right. And, yeah. you know, it makes you kind of question your credibility, too, you know? I love this for us. You have to be careful and, and wary of if you are the one asking the questions and you are, you know, controlling the conversation. Are you doing so in such a way that um, is positive, is uh, engaging, is increasing the conversation, is moving the conversation along in a way that is um, positive and productive rather than moving the conversation along in a way that is venti and nasty? Mm -hmm. um, are, you, are you leading with ego? Right. Or not. That's, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. And uh, chances are, if you're being a negative Nancy, you're leading with ego. It's just generally how it works. Um, when you think, when you have the impression that you are separate from anyone else, that you are better or worse than anyone else, that is ego speaking. And uh, we do not stand in ego that's speaking. It does its job to protect us when we need that protection. Mm -hmm. But we don't always need that protection. You know, it would behoove us to be a little bit less negative about shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I'm not talking to po toxic positivity either. Because mm -hmm. uh, that, that is a plague on our planet. But, um, you know, it, it would be fortunate, I think, or, or even a step in a positive direction mm -hmm. uh, to have, to, to lead without the ego and to be able to have those conversations without feeling judgmental or feeling judged, you know? I dig it. Um, With you 100%. All right, so that's question two.